how to find a mentor the correct way. Let's do it. Number one, the mindset. Mentors are never made, they are built. With this being said, not every mentor will be on the same wavelength as you. It is very important that when you find your mentor, it is built off of an organic relationship so that you guys can communicate and have really a bond. You know, that's what I mean. They're not robots. Be very wary of people who just give out mentors like that. Mentors aren't usually like that. Like mentors aren't really given out to you. You know, like you need a mentor, here you go. It's not like that. And even if you do get one, you guys will form a relationship to become a better mentor to you and you could be a better mentee to them. It's a relationship where you both learn off of each other. He's teaching you or he or she is teaching you, but you're also teaching he or she. And that's what's very important. If you ever watch Spider-Man, uh, Homecoming, you see that uh, Tony Stark and Spider-Man have a really good relationship together. And the reason being is because they're very organic. They know each other's lives very well. Peter's watched him, Tony's watched Peter. They're both superheroes at the end of the day as well. And they have this relationship together. It's very important. That's kind of like what it is in the corporate world as well, or in any field where you have a career. You usually find your mentor who is just like you. Your real estate agent, their real estate agent. You are a contractor, their contractor. And you build off of that rapport of you guys trying to become the best. Both of you are trying to be the best. Just one is up there before you are. You're a youngling. He's an older person. It's very important that an organic relationship is formed so that the relationship for being a mentor mentee has some longevity. Number two, identify your needs. What I mean by this is you should identify your goals before you meet your mentor. If you want to be the best agent real estate wise, you got to mess with the best agents. If you want to be the best contractor, mess with the best contractors. If you want to be the best engineer, mess with the best engineers. There is no, you know, want to be the best so you hang out with the worst. It's no offense to anybody who is subpar average, not at all. But if you want to be the best, you have to be around the best. It takes a lot of humbling to do that as well. You have to realize that there are people out there who are better than you. And not only are they better than you, but they can do it twice, if not three, four, five times faster more educated, I mean, something, they're better than you. It's very important you do that before anything else because at least when you find your mentor, you can target your wants and your needs. Number three, get out there. It is very important that you get out into your field. It makes no sense to me the amount of people I've seen go out and just basically talk about, I can't find my mentor, I can't find my mentor, help me, please. Well, the reason why you can't find your mentor is because you don't go out there and look. So you need to go out and start asking questions. The reason why you need to ask some questions is because people who are really good mentors are usually valuable teachers and they love learning. And they don't ostracize you when you ask questions that may not be a question of their choice because they love that you're asking questions. They love that you're passionate. They love that a person has took an initiative to go out there. It takes initiative to put on some clothes, go out there, look at some listings and try to basically go to open houses and talk to agents. It takes some work. Just by already doing that, you've cut down basically half the people that probably wouldn't have been a good mentor versus half of the people that would have been a good mentor. I remember when I first started going to real estate and I remember I was still at this point right now trying to get my license. And I got, I went to this place at Easton Mall I forgot the place, but basically I went out, I bought some pants, I bought a uh, blazer, I bought a dress shirt, I took my friend's tie that I haven't gave back yet, I am sorry, and I went out there and I got dressed, looked at listings, and while I was working at this warehouse, literally on the Saturdays and Sundays, the only time I did, ever had this, and this is when open houses usually are open, Saturdays and Sundays, I went out and I looked. I looked for listings after listing after listing. I looked for open houses after open houses after open houses. And I kept going to open houses. And that's how I found my mentor. I found my mentor by accident, really. Uh, my my girlfriend attended uh, a open house with me. And we were about to leave. And I hit a parked car by accident. Yes, guys, I hit a parked car. I'm sorry. I hit a parked car by accident. And when I hit the parked car, I was like, wow, I'm so embarrassed. I don't feel like going anywhere else anymore. Then my girlfriend told me, look, look, just go out there. One more house. I went to that warmer house, that's how I found my mentor. It's actually very funny. You should never give up, by the way. It's a very, very valuable lesson. Even when, the, even when it looks tough, don't give up. One more time, one more time, and you'll probably get it. Number four, get ready to ask. Be upfront with them and ask them why 
they should be your mentor and why you should be their mentee. Set clear goals of why you think this mentor is right for you. Be upfront about your time commitment. Talk about what you're willing to put in this relationship and what you expect them to put out in this relationship. And if you're clear about what you want from the start, communication will run smoothly. Number five, now it is your turn. What will you do now, now that you have a really great mentor? Well, first of all, you should meet consistently. Uh, you know, once a week is good, once every four months is good, just keep them updated, all right? Uh, and vice versa as well. Meet your mentor at a coffee shop, maybe at your house, maybe at their house. It really doesn't matter. Just meet at a very professional place where you guys can discuss about a lot of different things that concern your career and how you can better improve it. Also, be open to feedback, positive and constructive criticism, all right? Be very, very open to feedback. And also, decide on the end date. All right, you know, all good things must come to an end. And I'm pretty sure your mentor doesn't wanna be your mentor for freaking ever. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna to have to figure out an end date. Finally, number six, expand and meet more mentors. There's nothing wrong with ending the relationship of a mentor. And there's nothing wrong with finding more mentors. The more mentors you find, the better you can become. Just remember to keep them updated because you're creating a valuable network of people that later on you will tell your wins and losses to and they can give you some of their advice on what you should do to become better when it comes to your wins and your losses because even when you win, there's still more to do. Anyway guys, that has been my video on how to find a mentor the correct way. If you really liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, Comment, what do you think is the best way to find a mentor? Have you found a mentor? What happened? Was the experience great? Let us know in the comments below and for other people. Don't forget to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.